Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome back to another LEGO Minecraft review. So today we're going to be looking at set number 21178, The Fox Lodge. This set includes 193 pieces and retails for $19.99 starting January 1st of 2022. I was really lucky to find this at my local Kohl's, they didn't really have too big of a new selection, though look forward to my actual haul video come January 1st, at least that's what I hope. Getting right into the box art design, you get one of your arctic snow foxes in the corner, you get your typical Minecraft logo, similar box art as we saw back in the summer wave of 2021. From the very back, you can take a look at the interior of this sleeping fox house, and there are just so many cool details in here. I just, I'm really excited to take a look at this in person. So without a further ado, let's open this up and take a look at what's inside. Looking at the box contents, you get a total of two numbered bags in addition to a loose plate piece and your instruction manual. Looking at the instructions, we pretty much mimic the front of the box right there, and you get your QR code from the side. From the very back, you get your win guy leading to the piece count for a total of two pages there. We continue on to our final overall model. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we have any advertisements here, which is a little disappointing. But either way, I will be getting quite a few different Minecraft sets for the January wave, so you don't have to worry about my thoughts on those. It should all be covered in the next few weeks. So yeah, that's all for the box content, so let's take a look at our minifigures and the final overall model. Looking at our very first minifigure, we have the Fox Skin Girl. This minifigure is exclusive with some brand new prints for both the torso and the headpiece. We also get two accessories, one being a diamond sword, and then the other one being a fishing pole, which also happens to have this orange fish holding on. Overall, I really love the prints on this character, especially for the very back where you can also see the tail printed there. I think that's really nice how they did that. And then, of course, we get that orange head, which has the print, which I really love when the flesh tone actually works out on a print, so that's one thing to applaud this set on. For our next figure, we have the Drowned Zombie. This minifigure is not exclusive, also coming within the smallest set of 2021, the Coral Reef. We get no printing for the legs, though we get a print from the front of the torso. We get that sand green for the arms and the hands, and also the sand green for the head, where you can also see the print from the front. And here's a look at the back printing if you're interested in that. We also get our second appearance ever of the adult fox, only appearing once before within the Taiga Adventure set back in 2020. You guys can also check out my review for that set. We get the same exact print for the face there, which is a really nice face print, though of course they are reusing that cat specific headpiece. Honestly, I wish that they would have made something brand new here, but I mean, it's fine for what it is. We also get the brown from the back of the tail where you also get that clip piece connection, so you can bring that back and forth as you see fit, and also side to side because we also get that rounded edge for that plate piece. Additionally, we also get some studs for the feet right there, which is a very nice touch, and of course we get it all tiled up from the very top of the back of the fox. Looking at the baby fox, a little bit smaller than the adult fox right here, we use a rounded 1x2 plate for the feet. We get the same sort of connection from the back for the tail, where you can move that up and down and side to side as you see fit, tiled up from the top, and also the same exact face piece being used for this character. And finally, looking at another exclusive character to this set, we have the Arctic Fox, which again reuses that same exact cat head mold right here, just with a brand new print for the Arctic Fox, which I think turned out fine for what it is. We also use a little bit of this lighter blue color for both the feet and the very back of the tail. You can also see a little bit from the printing from the front of the face, though otherwise we do get the same exact buildup that you would see for the other adult fox, just some color swaps here and there, and of course we get that clip piece from the tail from the back. 
Looking at the final overall model for the Fox Lodge, I really like how it turned out. It's a very cute small build, which I'm pretty sure is the very first time that we're actually getting representation for this particular biome. We have quite a few interesting recolors in this set, in addition to some brand new prints from the back and some prints returning from previous sets. So starting off right from the very front of the build, I did want to mention that we get some references that are quite interesting. We have a berry bush. So if you don't know in Minecraft, you can actually use berries to tame foxes, which is really interesting to see that we get both an adult and a baby. I wish that we would have gotten another adult regular fox just to make that kind of make sense. I don't know if you can actually breed the Arctic foxes with the adult regular foxes. That's not something that I know off the top of my head, but needless to say, I think it's really interesting that they decided to include the berry bush here. We also get a small torch off to the side. We get a small little water area, which also happens to have this jumper plate in this translucent blue, which I'm pretty sure is the first time that we're actually getting it in that color. That's a really interesting color to actually get it in. And I do really like that it's just very opaque compared to a lot of other translucent pieces, so that's something that LEGO's finally figuring out how to do. You can also plop your minifigure of the fox skin girl there. She's fishing in the water. And you can also take out that sword right there and plop it in the bin over here. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is the shape of the sleeping fox that we have. I actually think it turned out really nice. A lot of the colors are really interesting, especially above the eyes. This particular brown, I don't think I've ever really gotten that in a set before, so that's pretty cool just to talk about there. I love that it's tiled off a lot over here, and especially for the tail, just some of the softer parts. We also use some of the flesh tone colors up here for the ears, which I also thought was really interesting that we have the flesh tone being used on that 2x2 two two brick piece. And as we spin to the back, you can also see that we have somewhat of a window situation going on over here, which leads to our actual interior, which we can also remove these top portions here, which are all easily connected using some jumper plates to reveal our interior slightly better. So looking closer at the interior, first we have a bed, which is also colored in purple, which I actually really like getting a purple bed. That's very interesting. We have a potted plant here, which actually seems to use a brand new piece. That being this modified one by one, which is actually missing one stud of length going up. And it also has the hole in the center. I can see this being used quite a few ways throughout different sets. Very useful new piece. We also get a lot of your typical stuff over here that you see in Minecraft sets being a crafting table, which has your print from the top and also the sides. We also get the prints for this furnace right here, which has the burning version from the back and then the non-burning version from the front. And another thing that I thought was really interesting is the inclusion of an actual cake, which you can actually remove from that jumper plate there, which has an exclusive print. Well, not exactly an exclusive print. This previously came only within the 2016 The Village set. That's one that I would love to get someday in the future. And then we also have a print for a map, which is exclusive to this set at the moment. They have been using one previously in a bunch of other sets, though this one should be brand new and exclusive here. And another really cool thing behind that is that we get another brand new piece for 2022, that being this modified 1x2 brick, which has a stud on the side. I see that piece also being really useful when it comes to doing certain things like this, where you don't want to have that Technic connection, because otherwise this will just be spinning willy-nilly. I think that works very well just to get this in a stable position, as you would see regularly in Minecraft, and it fits along with the rest of the bricks that we get within this set. So overall, for $20, is this set worth it? I mean, I'm pretty sure this is the first representation that we're getting for the Snowy Tyaga biome. I really like the minifigures included. That fox lady skin is really adorable. I also like getting another drowned minifigure. And the inclusion of all the foxes is just really great to go along with this adorable sleeping fox house. I think it just looks really, really adorable. You even get so many different details from the interior of this set. I'm just really amazed with a lot of the stuff that they put in here. A lot of the prints are really nice to get some of them returning and some brand new. It's just a really adorable set and for $20, I can see a lot of people just picking it up just for that factor. 
So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to know when I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!